guys welcome back to the Gitano. my name is Abby and today we are going to be doing some more can ancestor candle magic spell work um so this week um very interestingly the moon is in cancer so last week we were doing fire spell work um this week we're still doing fire spell work but we're gonna incorporate water because we are working with the moon um in order to do some ancestor healing and ancestor work so you are I'm gonna go over what you're going to need this spell work is specifically for healing for a specific ancestor um, and this is what you're going to need for it now you're gonna need the um, of course seven day um, white candle and you're going to also need a bowl because we're going to be putting the candle inside the bowl with some water um, you are going to need Florida water. You are going to need um, an ancestor oil. I make my own. I have them in my shop. Um, they're about this big. Um, and you can use this for pretty much all the ancestor work to fix any ancestor candles that you need to fix um, for healing, for anything really honoring your ancestors. Um, and I made this specifically for ancestor work. So that's the one we're going to be using. Um, did I say Florida water? I think I said Florida water, but we're going to say Florida water again because you can never have too much. You're also going to need um, something to light your candle with. I always forget what this thing is called, and then I remember right after I make the video, so it's kind of funny. Um, you're going to need petition paper, and you're also going to need a permanent marker. I, I use Sharpie. I already uh, did my petition. If you don't know how to make a petition, because I'm not going to go over that in this video, there's like a whole bunch of videos that will show you how to make a petition paper. Um, or petition if you want me to make a video showing you just leave me a comment and I'll do it basically but it's not it's not like it's not complicated <laughs> um, so you're gonna need that um, now for the ingredients this you really need to kind of think about um, that's specific ancestor because when we're trying to heal specifically one ancestor um, you want to make sure that you're working with their energy their vibe and stuff that they really like so for the ingredients for the spell work i'm using i'm going to be working with my grandma and i'm going to be using um it's like a 50 50 blend of herbs that she would like and that i know that she she likes because i pretty much grew up with her um when i was younger so i know which herbs she was using and i'm going to use the herbs that she really liked using um and then i'm going to use the other the other 50 part of the blend is going to be what i'm incorporating um to work with the moon as well as to add additional support and healing so the herbs that i'm going to be using if you don't know uh like for example if you've been doing like past life work or like if you've opened up the akashic records and you're working with an ancestor but you don't know too too much too 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 much about them or um if you are adopted and you didn't know like, and then you happen to go through the same process or you're adopted and you don't know um your ancestors and you want to just heal specific maybe one of them is coming up heavy for you but you just don't know them or um i mean for that i would definitely say pay attention to how they're interacting with you um and what senses are triggering because that also happens You'll, you can start literally smelling stuff sometimes um but if you don't know uh, then that's totally cool you could just use the ones I'm gonna use today like they're very general for um, for the work that we're gonna be doing anyway uh, as far as healing goes but if you know if you are were close to your grandparents or you just knew of them and you just saw them a couple times but the when you saw them they were drinking a certain thing they would drink coffee all the time they would um, drink tea all the time they would just love a specific something a specific plant they were, they had and in their backyard all the time whatever it is like whatever comes to you from that ancestor you can pick those ingredients and take out uh, like swap around the ingredient list that I'm about to give you for this spell work I hope that, I hope that makes sense <laughs> so we're going to be using powdered cinnamon um, this is like a classic Cinnamon is like classic healing herb for me. I've used it throughout many lifetimes, uh, but it's it's a very multi-purpose ingredient uh, as far as an herb because it's double spice. Um, because you can use it for so many things: money, draw, money drawing, money love, attraction, and love. You, it's so multi-purpose. Um, but cinnamon is something that me and my grandma used to do use all the time. 
um, that in addition to cloves. So we're gonna need um, three cloves for this. And we're also gonna be using oregano. And just a quick backstory of so why it ended up being in this little container thingy because I do have it in the kitchen. But um, so the other day, like, a, like I want to say a week ago, I went to this pizzeria because I, I was just, I didn't know what to eat. I was like, okay, I'll just eat pizza, I guess. Um, so I went to the pizzeria, but they ran out of oregano. So I went into the grocery store and I asked them if they had any oregano. So the guy gave me a little bit of oregano, but he gave me a lot. So I was like, okay, well, I'm an herbalist. I'm not throwing away herbs. That's just, that's a sin. Um, so we're using the oregano. Um, <laughs> the next one is going to be chamomile. And then the next one's going to be garlic. A staple in Spanish cooking. <laughs> and the next one is going to be, and the last one is going to be sage. Actually, no, the last one is going to be the coffee. But we are going to be using sage. You always want to be using uh, cleansing herbs when you're working with healing. Because you do want to cleanse that energy away, basically. I'm just going to put this here. Um, and, oh no, I messed up. Last one is eucalyptus, because yeah, I know how much I love this. Look, look at how much I have left. So, yeah, last one's going to be eucalyptus. That's just my personal choice, because it's such a great herb to work. And I actually used eucalyptus a lot when I was doing my ancestor work before. Um, and it was, it was amazing. I, no complaints on eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is, is the herb. Is the herb. So, we're going to be working in layers. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to do your petition paper. You're going to write down the name of the, of the ancestor you're specifically working on. If you don't know the name of the ancestor, if, if you've been doing work in the Akashic Records, you can ask. Um, but if you just don't know, you're adoptive, you don't work with that and you just don't know, you can just write the ancestors is coming up for you you can you can even try talking to them and doing an ancestor meditation before you do this work that way you can get a little more clarity on what you're actually healing and who you're healing with um you're gonna write that down you're gonna write healing on top of their name and then after you're done doing your petition paper you're gonna put it underneath the bowl like this it's gonna be, this is a layered layer because we're working with cancer can't the cancer moon right so there's layers to the water, to the ocean, to the emotions. There's layers, so that's exactly what we're working with, layers. Um, oh, I forgot to mention an ingredient. You're gonna need water. I'm specifically gonna use this one. Uh, it is my water bottle. I, char I Basically, I'm gonna do a video on this water bottle because I love it so much and everybody always asks me about it, but this one is infused with carnelian. Carnelian is amazing, is amazing for sacral work um, and just a lot of healing there so I'm gonna be using that one because I'm working with my grandma and she is a woman and it goes with the divine mother um, energy that we're working with because we're under the cancer mode so I'm gonna be using specifically carnelian charged crystallized water for this for the water we're gonna do we're pretty much gonna do that last but we're gonna fix the candle next so after you do your petition paper put the bowl on top of it and then you're gonna move to the candle um, now for cleansing, I already cleansed this, but for the sake of, you know, for the sake of y'all, I'll just, you know, we will, we will do this. We will do this together. I'm not going to do it as long as I usually do it as, but we will do this together. I put a little bit on my hand, I rub it, and then I go all over with it. Give it a little nice bath. I have to open up a new bottle of Florida water because I literally just finished my, my mini one, so I'm using my medium one now. Um, you're gonna take the sage, you're gonna burn that a little bit, get it smoking. And I like to stop uh, start with the top of the candle first, you guys know this. Um, so the first thing I do is I hold the smoke right on the rim, just like that, because I wanna make sure that the top of the candle is cleansed, because that's where all of our herbs are going. And then you're running it through. You're rolling it. And then always cleanse yourself as well. 
Now, if, this is, if you're working with an, uh, a specific ancestor that you already know, you know their habits, you know their stuff, you can play the music that they like while you're fixing this. You can, um, uh, I don't know, if you have like videos of them, you can like play it while you're doing it. If you like have a picture of them, you can like put it in front of you while you're working on it. You can talk to the picture if you want, if you want it to make it like um, kind of interactive. You can do that as well. Um, next chopstick I don't know if I mentioned this before but you're gonna make three holes I always like to throw the rest of the top out and I gotta have, have like a trash can right there <laughs> um, okay and we're gonna start I'm gonna start with the coffee because that's like that's always kind of like my base to everything and, the, and we know what the coffee does as per the last video it just caffeinates the hell out of this stuff that kind of rhymes actually and we're gonna go with garlic I'm just gonna put the butter bit on the top and the cinnamon bit more cinnamon yo my family loves cinnamon i'm gonna be doing a lot of spell work in my life with cinnamon because cinnamon is is, is probably the herb <laughs> it's probably the herb that, that we use like a lot oregano <laughs> oregano is amazing for like clearing and unblocking spell work and just removing obstacles so amazing chamomile is one of the herbs that my grandma used to make tea with a lot and it literally kind of runs in my family because my mom loves it as well and i loved it i, I grew up pretty much on chamomile that was that was the go-to um almost morning tea herb you don't have to put a whole lot it doesn't have to be like five million like of it. Okay. And as you are ro like I like to run my fingers to the top and just rotate it clockwise. Um this does a couple of things. It gets the uh, herbs inside the hole, but also at the same time, I like to activate the herbs for the purpose that I'm activating it. So I can say it like this is for Grandma Bella. Um, I love you very much. And thank you for all the love and support that you have given me. And I'm doing this spell for you, this candle for you, so that you may heal anything that needs to get healed. Um, anything in your life that needs to be cleansed and released so that your soul may be at peace and then you're going to take three clothes and because we put three holes you're going to take each clove and put it inside the hole clove is another one there's like a blend of spices that we just used in my family it's just cinnamon clove it's just oh you should have smelled my house like my grandma's house in the morning it was amazing so then we're gonna put the oil in As you're doing this, you want to make sure you're thinking about the ancestor that you're working with, thinking about your memories with them. And if you don't have any, think about the experiences you're having now with them or why you want to work with them, why you are gravitated towards that specific ancestor. And I'm going to top it with some glitter. I think I forgot to mention that earlier. Red silver glitter is go-to for the ancestors because anything close to the light, they love. So then I'm going to rake the candle 
And this is something that I'm going to do in my head because I can't show you guys the symbol as they teach us when we're doing the attunements and we're not supposed to like tell people the symbols. Even though it's crazy because I see the symbols everywhere on Instagram and I'm just like, yeah, it's just disrespectful, but whatever. <laughs> This specific spell that I'm doing for my grandma, this was specifically a heart healing spell for her, just because I know she went through a lot um, in her marriage, even though she forgave him. And I'm telling you, the karma has been healed, but this is for you guys that I am doing the spell work. So we're going to put the candle inside the bowl, like so, with the petition paper on the bottom like this. And then... I'm going to pour the water into the bowl and this serves a double purpose um, the water serves as libation um, and an offering and but it also serves like as if we're working with the heart emotional water like that that's what the energy that we're working with so we're kind of infusing it also if you are kind of terrified that your house is going to go on fire if you leave this on the whole time if it's a water you should be fine because the water will you know will turn it off um then we're going to light it if you feel compelled to do ancestor money um after this feel free but this this one doesn't specifically require it And so every day while you're doing this specific spell work, you need to actually talk to your candle. Um, and that specific ancestor, this is gonna be your phone. <laughs> this is your, your, your line right now. Um, so connect to them, tell them why you, why this is coming up for you, why you wanna heal it. Um, maybe it's something that like came up in the way that you saw something that happened to your, one of your ancestors specifically happening to a different family member and you, you just kind of got like triggered and you needed to you realize you needed to heal it whatever the case may be but make sure you're talking to your ancestors this is something that i do as a habit i'm a gemini moon so i talk a lot but i do talk to my ancestors and i do make sure that like i'm letting it even though they know how i feel like i'm I vent at them anyway um but when it comes with healing them, just talk to them as you would a friend, family, just a loved one. Um, and be open and be grateful um, that they, they're working with you and that they're, that they're allowing you to do this in the first place. Um, and yeah, if you wanted to do an ancestor meditation either before or after this, you can do it. Um, but I would recommend talking to your candle every day until it's out. So I will see you guys next week for next week's ancestor series video series that we're doing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions and yeah, I will leave all the links and stuff down below. If you wanted to get the ancestor oil, I'll leave the link down below as well. See you guys next week. Bye.